Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I will start with simulation desktop basics. My name is Zoran Junic. I am analysis engineer and I am mainly involved in Fire M GUI development and validation. My presentation is split into two parts. First part is PowerPoint overview and the second part is online demo. I will make brief introduction to simulation desktop, describe basic elements of Fire M home window, I will describe usage of parameters and case studies, and finally job submission and job monitoring. New generation of all AVL AST products is built on top of a common framework. This framework is called Simulation Desktop and implements all functionality common to AVL AST products. Special attention is given to user-defined model data structure, sharing and variation. Project tab is used for manipulation with project. Single project can contain multiple models that can share data amongst them. Also, multiple projects can exist and share data in the common project folder. Models can be inserted into project by double-clicking the model icon. When model is inserted into project, it switches view into its home window. If multiple models are inserted into project, they appear as tabs in the model bar. Model bar is used also for switching between different models. Ribbon tabs are independent units dedicated to specific tasks. I will describe parameters and simulations tab in following slides. CAD, auto automated meshing, interactive meshing and results will be described in next sessions. Each tab has its own ribbon with icons for most frequent tasks. On the left hand side we have combined element tree and element properties pane. It is used for the setup of the model. On the right hand side is place for 3D viewer or topology editor respectively. Below are messages and data check panes where, where we get feedback from the system. Under Parameters tab, we can define parameters that will be used as input in case studies. Parameters have values and units. Before usage, parameters must be assigned to appropriate variable. Assignment is done by right mouse click on desired variable label. Parameters can be used in meshing or case setup step. Once the parameters are defined and assigned, they can be used in case variation. Single or multiple parameters can be used in one case. Multiple cases are grouped into case sets. The easiest way to start a single calculation is just by pressing run button. By default, it will start serial solver for current case. Detailed definition of run can be spe specified in job setup window. In order to start multiple cases in one go, one have to select multi calculation tab and press run. In new window, one can select all cases that must be started. The list of all tasks can be found on the job overview tab. Double click on the task line gives detailed information about ongoing or finished simulations. Now I will switch to online demo. Uh, when we open new SDT launcher, we end up in the launcher window and by pressing icons in the new region, we add multiple models into project. On the Info tab, we get information about the models included into project. We can use Model Bar 
in the bottom left corner for switching between models. In the current project, we have one fame, uh, two fire and one impress model. Now we will switch to fire home, fire home model. Here we have set up a simple pipe flow where we use parameters for inlet velocity and temperature. We can define parameters by right mouse click on, par on the variable label and pressing assign parameter. We get a list of all appropriate parameters based on the unit group. We can also add a new parameter in the list vi in this window or we can add it in the parameters pane. So when we switch to parameters tab, we see all parameters that are defined in this project. Each parameter has value and unit. Parameters are stored into tree-like structure. Once parameter are, parameters are set, we can proceed with defining cases. Cases are organized into case sets. We can add cases to the case set, define which parameters will be used for variation. We can change parameters manually or we can generate in intermediate cases by interpolation. Once the setup is completed, we can proceed to simulations. The simplest way to start a case is by pressing run button. In that case, serial solver will be run for the selected case. To start multiple cases, we have to switch to multi-calculation. We have possibility to start cases sequentially or simultaneously. By pressing run button, we can select cases that we wish to start. We can do it one by one or by multi-select with shift button. By pressing run, all cases are submitted for execution. Active pane is switched to job overview and by double click on the task we get a new window with detailed information about ongoing calculation. With this I will finish my presentation and give a word to next presenter.